every time we are getting a different size but it is not exactly 500 it may be 500 but we are not getting it as of now but the thing is we are getting a different size every time and this is what the race condition is what we were going to talk about what is the race condition you are getting incorrect result incorrect output whenever multiple threads are trying to manipulate and when it is writing like we said it will only lock the affected segment during the write operation so if i have multiple segments like this and if i want to write to this particular this particular segment then only this particular segment's lock will be acquired the rest of the segments are free so that is why the read is also free and it is non blocking hi everyone welcome to my channel code with ease by varsha today we will talk about concurrent hash map the interview questions we'll see a code demo of how is it different from hash map and we'll see the internal working so concurrent hash map is yet another concurrent collection we have already covered one more concurrent collection which is called copy on write arrow list so as we can see in this multi-threading playlist, we have covered another Java concurrent collection called Copy on Write Array List. We will cover the second concurrent collection today, which is Concurrent Hash Map. What is Concurrent Hash Map? Why is it necessary? How it is different from Hash Map? So we will say that we will see that using a code demo. We will see the internal working of Concurrent Hash Map, and we'll see what is the difference between the synchronized collection and concurrent hash map. Need concurrent hash map. Firstly, it is part of java.util.concurrent package. It provides a thread safe implementation. So hash map, the traditional hash map that we know, which is part of java.util package is not thread safe, which means if multiple threads try to manipulate it, it is not thread safe, which means it can cause race condition. So there are two aspects which we want to talk about. One is on the race condition, which occurs when multiple thread try to manipulate the traditional hash, hash map. And the another part is the concurrent modification exception. We have already talked about concurrent modification exception in the fail safe versus fail fast iterators. These are the two aspects around which concurrent hash map has overtaken hash map, so to say. So thread safe implementation it is, and it is well suited for scenarios where you need high concurrency, which means if you need scenarios where you have multiple threads trying to manipulate the same data structure, you might have to use concurrent hash map. So that is about the race condition part or the thread safe part. So we will also see through a code demo how the concurrent modification exception hash map, how does concurrent modification exception occurs when we use the normal hash map and how it can be avoided when we use the concurrent hash map. Similarly, on the thread safety part, we will see how the race condition is occurring when multiple threads are trying to manipulate the hash map and how it can be eliminated the moment we use concurrent hash map. Before we do a code demo, let us try to understand using this hierarchy where does concurrent hash map fit in and how is it related to the map interface. So as we can see, at first the root at the root we have the map interface. And concurrent map is another interface which is extending the map interface, followed by concurrent navigable map. That is another interface which is extending concurrent map. And finally, we have the concrete class as concurrent hash map, which implements the concrete, which implements the concurrent navigable map. So this is how. Uh, concurrent hash map indirectly is trying to implement the map interface. So that is why the traditional methods of map interface is what is being available. But the immediate parent class of concurrent hash map is concurrent navigable. So now let's see a code demo. We will see two different code. One for the thread safety, second for the concurrent modification exception. So moving to the ID. Okay, so this is the code which is already written. What we are trying to do over here is we have five threads. And each thread is trying to insert 100 items into a hash map. So this is the main method. We are using thread pools and executor service. We've already covered videos about the usage of this, about uh, how do we use fixed thread pool and all of that. So please check out the previous video as part of the multi-threading playlist. So we are running this. So we are running this for loop where it will run five times. Every time it will try to insert record. So what is this insert record trying to do? In the hash map, we will try to put a key and a value, right? Hash map. So the key is going to be the thread's name appended with the value of i, which is going to change. And uh, in the value, we'll just store i. So if we have five threads, 100 records, each thread is trying to insert, the final size of the hash map should be 500. So that is what we are trying to demonstrate over here, that if multiple threads are trying to manipulate the hash map at the same time, then what is happening? So let's try to run this. We are getting 494. Let's try to run this couple more times. So every time we are getting a different size, but it is not exactly 500. 
it may be 500 but we are not getting it as of now but the thing is we are getting a different size every time and this is what the race condition is what we were going to talk about what is the race condition you are getting incorrect result incorrect output whenever multiple threads are trying to manipulate why is this happening because hash map as a data structure is not thread safe where what it does is whenever there are multiple writer threads like multiple threads trying to write to the hash map it is not locking the particular segment because it is not locking the particular segment the writes are becoming overridden so that is the exact count of the hash map is not coming as 500 the same key value pair might be overridden okay at this uh, okay now what is going to happen when we change this to concurrent hash map we are expecting that if we change it to a concurrent hash map then in that case our correct uh, we should be getting correct result so now let's we have changed it now let's try to run this we are getting 500. So, this is the first thing which we wanted to talk about that if multiple threads manipulate the hash map at the same time, we are not able to get the right result. Only if we use a concurrent hash map, which is a thread safe implementation of the hash map, then only we are getting the right result. So, any scenario where you need a hash map kind of implementation, but you also want to have high concurrency in that application, you should be using concurrent hash map to avoid race condition. Now, let's move on to another code example where we will see what is the concurrent modification exception that occurs? This is the second code that we want to talk about regarding the concurrent modification exception. So, as we can see over here, we have a hash map where we have three values inside this and we also have an iterator. What we are doing is we are just traversing through this using the iterator. In between, we are modifying the hash map saying that if this particular condition is true, whether like if it contains this key, we just have to add one more entry. This is supposed to throw the concurrent modification exception in case of a hash map. Let's try to run this. And here we go. Here is the modification. So, hash map is not thread safe. We have already established that. The iterators which hash map has are fail fast. That is why we see concurrent modification exception. Now, to get over this, to eliminate this, we'll change this to concurrent hash map. Keep the same logic. And now we run this. And we are also printing it out at the end. And we see at the end, three instead of three entries, we have four entries now. And there is no exception. So this is the second point of difference that we wanted to bring out. That in case of hash map, whenever you want to modify the map while you are iterating, if such a scenario occurs, like when you have multiple threads trying to manipulate the hash map in between of an operation, you will not be able to do so if you have a single hash map, like the traditional hash map. In case of single threaded scenarios, it becomes tricky. So, concurrent hash map has a segmented level of locking. It is also called a segmented or a bucket level or a fine grained locking. So, these are the three terms that we use to understand the locking mechanism which concurrent hash map follows. It achieves high concurrency by dividing its data into segments, each acting as an independent hash table. So, if you follow the previous video of hash map, hash map's internal data structure is nothing but an array. So, you can understand this like it is divided into multiple buckets or segments. Each of them independently acts as an array. So, that is the term we use segment or bucket to denote every block like this. So, firstly, it divides the data into segments and partitions. Then the read operations, as we said, are going to happen fully concurrent manner, which means the read operations are will be like they will be non-blocking. We'll come to this blocking and non-blocking. Read operations are fully concurrent. It means no matter how many threads you have, it will never interfere with each other. It will not cause any contention. So whenever your read operations are happening, it will allow the multiple threads to read simultaneously from same segment or from different segment. But the catch is in the write operation. Remember when we were doing that, uh, when we were seeing the code, the size of the hash map in case of a normal hash map was not coming to 500 but when we used concurrent hash map it was also when we were trying to do the concurrent modification exception when we were trying to modify the map while the iterator was on we were seeing the exception so what is happening in case of concurrent uh, hash map is why the exception is not happening is because the write operations are synchronized at the segment level which means we can imagine each segment has a lock of its own so so now that every segment has an independent lock of its own. So what is happening is as a result, we are able to get the thread safety. So whenever the multiple threads are trying to write, there is no way of overriding. Why was the size of the hash map coming to like 494 or 498 and not 500? But the moment we used concurrent hash map, it exactly coming as 500. When multiple threads are trying to write, 
the threads are not trying to interfere or interleave or override the values when they are writing to the hash map. But they are in the case of hash map because it is not thread safe. Why it is not thread safe? Because this mechanism of synchronizing or adding the lock at every segment level is not possible in a traditional hash map. But it is possible in a concurrent hash map. And that is why the right operations are also, uh, so that is why the right operations guarantee the thread safety. So we have to understand two things. Read operations are fully concurrent. Write operations are synchronized at the segment level. These are the two keywords that you have to understand. So just to summarize, reads are happening like total concurrency are there for reads, which allows the multiple threads to read without blocking. It doesn't matter if multiple threads are trying to read. It will not give you any incorrect result anytime. And when it is writing, like we said, it will only lock the affected segment during the write operation. So if I have multiple segments like this, and if I want to write to this particular, this particular segment, then only this particular segment's lock will be acquired. Rest of the segments are free. So that is why the read is also free and it is non-blocking. So what is the effect, overall effect of this? We are getting a better performance, a better throughput in multi-threaded environments. So any number of threads can perform the read because only the affected segment is being locked and for write, the thread has to lock that particular segment. So while the thread is trying to write, it will acquire the lock, make the modification and release the lock. In the earlier case, what was happening is there was no concept of acquiring lock or releasing lock. Each thread was coming and was trying to manipulate the same segment it at its own will. There was no locking mechanism, but now it is more streamlined. That is why our write operations are guaranteeing the thread safety. So that is about the so this is about the internal working which we wanted to discuss. The key points is reads and non-blocking, total concurrency is provided. There is no Con unnecessary contention and for write we are only locking the affected segment during the write operation is happening moving on to the next topic what is the difference between concurrent hash map and collections dot synchronized map now why is this coming into the picture okay if i say traditional hash map is not uh, having any uh, synchronization construct it requires an external synchronization so there's a collections class which provides a bunch of utility methods for different data structures so you have synchronized map synchronized set it is sort of adding the synchronized keyword to your data structure and like making it behave in a way that it is synchronized what i'm trying to say is what happens is you have a hash map which is not thread safe no synchronization construct is there when you use collections or synchronized map on that what is going to happen is the entire map will be I mean, there will be one lock governing the entire map. So if you want to modify, you have to again acquire this particular lock and do the modification. So entire map is locked. You do the operation, release the lock. So that is the question. Now, if we already had this collections dot synchronous map, then why did we even need this concurrent hash maps? That is what we will discuss. So what are the points? So concurrent hash map is designed for high level concurrency. We have already seen how it divides the map into segments where each segment can be locked independently. In case of this, it uses a single monitor to synchronize access to the entire map. Like I said, there's a single lock on the entire map. Second is the performance. It performs better in a high concurrency scenario. It is having lower performance due to coarse grained locking. What is the kind of locking for concurrent hash map? Fine grained locking. Why is it fine grained? Because the lock is on the each segment level. Here it is on the entire map. So just imagine you are putting segment wise locking. So you are only locking the particular segment you are interested in versus you want to lock the entire map. So many threads will have to be waiting to acquire the lock to update the values. So obviously it is going to have a worse performance than concurrent hash maps. So that is why lower performance. Next is iteration. We have seen that it doesn't con uh, occur any concurrent modification exception during the iteration. But if like during iteration, if the underlying map is modified, this can not guarantee that exception won't happen. It might happen. Null values, not very important point. Locking granularity is the main point, like fine grained locking versus coarse grained locking, um, where in you lock the entire map for each operation. In fine grained locking, you enable concurrent access to different segments. So these are just the words, the terminology that you have to understand, but the basic concept remains the same. Your main points remains on the performance, the locking granularity, and of course, your concurrency level. And the iteration. So these four are the main points when we want to talk about the differences between these two. So yeah, that is about this particular uh, question. So I think we have wrapped up uh, for today's video. We have discussed all the important uh, interview questions that we had.